Okay, so today, um, I think probably just in case those of you who haven't heard what my name is, it's Natalie. Um, today we are here to fundraise for and remember our friends and families and comrades in Australia and Brazil. I'm sure, like me, that your hearts broke as you saw the tragedy unfold of the wildfires which have been caused by climate change. I'm sure that most of you felt an overwhelming sense of helplessness and impotence as I did. The idea of today, though, was to underscore that, that how, although we as a community bear witness to these horrific events, that isn't where it ends, and that we can make the decision to step up and do what is in our power to do in order to support our brothers and sisters in the human family. Along with the money we raise today, we send our love, our solidarity, and our hopes for a brighter community, um, brighter future to the community in Australia and Brazil. And although we have focused, because of the connections with these two communities, on Australia and Brazil, we do not forget those in Indonesia and other communities around the world that are suffering as a consequence of man-made climate change. We never forget that our futures, for good and bad, are inextricably linked, whether we like that or not. I'll be speaking a little bit later about what climate justice means to me and how, as a social rights campaigner, we need to learn that we cannot separate the issue of climate justice from social justice. But for now, I'd just like to take the time to thank, firstly, my apprentice that inspired me to organise today, to demonstrate how, as ordinary people, we all have agency and the ability to do something. To thank everybody here today and also to those who have contributed time and resources to make today's event possible. This of course includes the host here at the Splash, especially um, Roberto from the Savoy for his generous donation of a raffle prize, Galaxy Comic Con by Prestige Events, Market Juice Bar, Shane and his, hot, um, his band's hot juice, Foolish Things and the many other personal contributions that different people have made. Also, our speakers this evening, obviously you've already heard from some, but we shall also be hearing just shortly from John Wormel, who's the Head of Mammals at Durrell, Kate Delamere from Birdsong, and Eckhart Weber from XR. I want to especially thank my friends and those who've stepped up for me this week because my health decided to throw a bit of a curveball. <laughs> this includes Eckhart, again the fantastic shape who's organised putting our live bands together this evening, Naomi, Colin, who did a fantastic job, thanks Colin for organising the acoustic um, events. Um, all the guys at my work, Tina, Lauren, Steph, Amy, Ross, Ed, who's not actually here, as it happens, um, Dean, Sarah and other people who have done stuff in the background, and Carl, who's not here, but my husband, who always quietly supports me in the background. Also, for those of you who saw her, my beautiful and brave niece, Megan. Because it is so important for us to hear the voices of the young ones because we need to remember that their futures depend on us making the right choices because we really don't have time to lose anymore. I chose for the tagline for this event from a place of love for our dear ones, our community, both locally and internationally, for the beautiful planet that we live on, that it really is time to put out fires and light the resistance. 